I welcome you to this episode of the Busy Cast, number 96. It's already wow. Time passes by. Insane. Yeah, I'll wait till some people drop in. Meanwhile, I can do the Busy Cast playlist. We have, yeah, as I've already mentioned, it's Wednesday again, the unusual Wednesday, I would say. But I'm happy to be here with you guys. And yeah, um, what we're gonna do, do tonight is, yeah, play a bit of Avicii, play a bit of, um, uh, play a bit of sick tracks that I got. So uh, actually, great progressive stuff this week. Um, Sarah's watching up on Instagram, thank you so much. Uh, Louis, thank you so much for tuning in. Also Jung, thank you so much. The first track that I'm playing tonight is uh, Weeks, um, the producer Ellie from the uh, from the UK, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, with his new track Slip, that is out now on Two Room. Two Room tracks to be exact. And this is even, even having an extended mix, very cool one. Add this to my playlist. As always, after the show, I'm gonna drop the playlist. Ivan joined, thank you so much. Hope you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I love this the Sunti play, like how he actually also like um, plays around with the melody. Yeah. Yeah, I got also one exclusive for you, I'm very happy. And I got the great contacts. They show it to me. Okay. Yeah, I like I like how it uh, slowly, you know, builds up. And when it drops, yeah, very rough, very cool. By the way, I got new glasses, as you may may see, or maybe not. Uh, they are now here on the side, blue, and a bit larger. Uh, my brother said today that I don't look like a. Um, like a, um, a, maybe not freak, I don't know, like a, um, and a like a nerd, really. and I don't look like a nerd anymore, or less, I would say. Yeah, Stevie also joined over on Insta, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the link to uh, Spotify link also in the, uh, uh, in the chat, so you can also check this out for yourselves. How are you doing, Stevie? Everything alright there, down in Portugal? Is it hot there? Because today in Vienna, it was 32 degrees. Horrible. Actually, I don't know, not as horrible as it probably will be in July. I don't know. Like, well, well maybe I wasn't very much outside, or then outside later. Raffold is also watching, thank you so much for joining. Tell me what you like about it. The fact that I just play Weeds with Slip out on two room tracks. I very like, um, I very much like the city. How he plays around. And the vocal, also very cool. Very, very simple one. But yeah, very enjoyable. My, at least to my ears. Yeah, we took okay. 3,000 likes. So definitely support this guy. Drop is coming up. Yeah, very nice. I love it very much. Such a cool tune. Good for both warming up and uh, and main time. At least to my ears. I'll drop also the link on Twitter. <laughs> Captain Martin will join in later as well. It's very nice so far. Yeah, and also well, what we have to discuss is of course um, Swedish house mafias. Uh, um, cancellation of Ultra Korea. There was a huge scandal. Um, on the other hand, I'm now happy that I've seen them in, in Stockholm. But yeah, there, there are several rumors around it. I'm also afraid that they won't come to frequency now in, in Austria, which would be a bit of, uh, you know, I would be very sad. 
Yeah, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what this will um, what this will bring us. That was Weeds for a slip. Up next, three people are in. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah. What's up next? Uh, yeah, I'll play one more that I uh, liked a lot. I believe I found it on, on Beatport last week by accident. I usually I find, uh, you know, stuff uh, by accident on Beatport. Uh, ben Hemsley with Caress uh, Me. Yeah, Caress Me. Uh, yeah, also very cool techy tune. Also, you know, for a bit of, you know, um, a bit warming us up. For also, yeah, we'll, uh, thank you, uh, Anthony, for, for joining. Uh, I will play also a bit of um, a bit of Avicii later then, of his album. I don't want to play too much because I don't want to, I don't know, connect it too much, you know, it's very tough to say. There's also a bit of criticism around uh, Avicii, about the release of this album. For example, I believe DJ Fresh wrote, oh, I love this city. So cool. It's how to repopulate Mars. And I love the vocal, is all I need. Is Usually, I don't, I'm a, not a huge fan of pitched vocals, but here it fits so well with the, uh, with the tone of the track. So that's why I wanted to give it a go here. Do you feel the bass line? Mmm, so in love. I'm posting the link for Spotify. Ben Hemsley with Caress Me. Fantastic track. Tech with a bit of a uh, bass line. Uh, yeah. Thousand. 1,400 likes on Facebook. Support this guy. Fantastic music. I don't repopulate Mars. This reminds me of the old Electro House-esque Suntis that were like really popular like 10 years ago. You know, and I, I just today I heard some old David Guetta stuff like from 2008, 9 or something. And then I hear the Sunti and it kind of reminds me of it, a bit at least, you know. They were very simple. Um, Probably some random silent or anything. Mm. Maybe massive. So tell me what you think about this. This is not only my presentation, so it's also about us discussing it. Yeah, and before we head over in around an hour for criteria. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, 8.50 now uh, p.m. here in Central Europe and criteria starts at 10 p.m. 9 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, uh, and yeah, hope that we also have uh, some fun there. But this track, mm. I'm not sure whether this was played on Criteria or not, uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to support this. It's so cool. I'm not a huge fan of pitched vocals, but here it fits so well. I would have never ever imagined, you know. Uh, not thousand one games, but thousand one track list. Yeah, I want to check whether this was played already, mm, but I'm not sure. I believe it was not. Otherwise, I would have known it. Mm. I have to go to the tracks and then look for the track. Uh, Alex Winchy, Tough Love, Danny Howard played it on BBC Radio 1, CID, Tiesto on Club Life, that's surprising, and Joel Corey on this Kiss of M. But he played it already in February and January. Wow, he has tried for a long time already. Yeah, but not on Criteria. Yet, so would be would be something on Criteria, for example. I can imagine listening to this tonight. And there's one more drop, and then we head over to something a bit more progressive, I would say. But I also um, liked it. Yeah, very nice. The vocal reminds me also a bit of something. Tough to say. And I have maybe um, two tracks that I want to, yeah, or maybe one, one free track I want to play. Uh, 
but there are there's what well, like two favorites this week, two or three favorites I definitely wanted to play later on, and and some progressive stuff. I'm a huge fan of progressive, as you as you probably may know. But really, it's it's really I have like my labels, and they really constantly release something good. This is so surprising. Yeah. So that's that. Um, ben Hampstead with Caress Me, and up next. Uh, I'll play a bit more from a progressive, uh, but with a bit of a tech touch. So that's actually why I had like the troubles, you know, with um, what I should, you know, give play it as as a um, as a uh, you know as a progressive track or as a tech track. And for me, it's like a mix. It's very tough to tough to say. I, I hate like you know I have like these um, lists, you know, like the the folders where I put this in. And one of the folders is called, for example, dance groove and progressive. So basically everything that's kind of uh, danceable, like for main time, I would say, I put there, uh, and something really progressive stuff. And what what is a bit more of a techier approach, something more for warm up or general uh, techie set, I give in a, in a in a tech house playlist basically or folder. And here in that case, it's very tough to say whether this is progressive or or tech. The track is called uh, Daydreamer. The original is by Zo Brasil. This is the uh, definition remix. And yeah, I would have to check whether this is on, on Spotify, because I'm not sure yet. But the drop reminds me a bit of Body Language by, um, oh my goodness, ooh, ooh, the original, like the bass line a bit, yeah. But, you know, very cool. Uh, Book of Shade, I believe. Yeah, this one is on Spotify. This is out on uh, Transpector Limited. So tell me what you think about this. And I hope that uh, later will more people join in for the second part. But very, very cool. Very chilly. Yeah, maybe uh, one thing about uh, actually why was there an obesity cup yesterday on Tuesday? It's maybe because uh, it's because I I was in Poland this weekend where I got all of these new beautiful glasses. By the way, check this out. And. Um, and yeah, and I was, um, you know, I was, you know, having the glasses, and um, you know, was there any other reason I went there? I don't know. Yeah, and I, I, I changed the battery of my Galaxy S7. It was around 50, 50 euros, less than 50 euros, which is actually very cool. So now I have a bit more of battery life. Yeah, so that's that for sure. And yeah, I hope that more people will join them. So Brazil, Daydreamer, the definition remix. I wanted to drop the link. So yeah. Yeah, very chilly, very cool to listen to. It's like a mix of, of tech and progressive. Very very nicely made. Neri is watching over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, tell me what you think about the strike I'm playing right now. Would be very cool. It's not only a presentation of mine, but also like of, of, of you. That I get to can, you know. You see a bit. Zo Brazil Daydreamer the Definition Remix. A very cool mix of progressive and um, and tech. Well, no, to find the user definition will be very tough, probably. Because I'm not sure. Because there's a lot of definition, but I don't know which one could it be. Probably won't be able to find it. There's definitely, but definition not really. Yeah, Seb is also watching. Thank you so much for joining. But I can definitely check so Brazil. Eleven thousand likes. I know so Brazil for a very very long time. So I believe for eight or nine years already. So since I started listening to electronic music, they were kind of the first people that I kind of got in touch with. Um, with uh, Tech House, and I believe also Avicii remixed him once uh, in the early days of Avicii, the really 2009, 10, 8 even, I can't remember probably, but some, somewhere around there, around them. Yeah, but very nice. So Brazil Daydreamer Definition Remix, out on Transpecta. Wow, so cool, so chilly. Dun, 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 dun. Really feeling the minimal beat, the minimalistic beat. Very cool. I really like it's, it's I really yeah, like have this progressive feeling, you know? 
because it's kind of really, you know, builds one on another. It's very, very cool. Also, for all those who watching, thank you so much for joining. Hope that you enjoyed this beautiful, techy, chilled down tune in the background. So Brazil Daydreamer, the definition remix. Yeah, so cool. You know, this is, this is I think, very interesting because I enjoy it so much. I have kind of like an orgasm right now. Uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of Muranji. Yeah, a bit. This could be it. Yeah, Muranji is absolutely cool. Has also like a very um, special breakdown, you know. And yeah, very old one, by the way, like Bye Bye Eric Prince. And I, and I can't wait actually to hopefully see him this summer. I'm still not sure about whether I want to go to Electric Love or not. I kind of, I don't know. I I was such a huge fan of this festival in the first two or three uh, like editions. And now everyone got kind of worse. I don't know. It's very tough. Very tough to say. I mean, like, it, it got bigger. It doesn't, it maybe it didn't get worse. But, like, it got bigger and I don't know, you know. I'm just wondering, yeah, I'm having a tough time with the with the electronic music mainstream right now. Because there's not much that is really appealing to me. Maybe except... Sometimes Don Diablo. So yeah, there, there's there's an event coming up in Austria. There's playing Armin van Buren. Yeah, trance is something, you know, very specific. Especially with Armin van Buren, he's playing a lot of, you know, also I believe Big Room, trance, if we can say this. Who's coming else? Rehab, totally un uninteresting, uninspiring. Uh, sorry, to, I have to be harsh on this because like, but you know, you know me very well. And one of the, one of the, one of the less, like one of the guys that are really still uh, really strong in the game, like and also music wise, not not always, but very often is uh, Don Diablo. So really, this is like also for years already. I mean, he's been in the scene for like fifteen or twenty years, but he was not very very known in the in the early stages. And now actually, he's you know like a big guy and uh, and but still you know producing very nice music sometimes. Not always, but yeah. So I believe that's that from the from the tech list, and um, I want to play something. I believe I forgot to play this last week. I got this in my promo, and I definitely want to give this a shout out. Uh, the track is called "Nothing But Love," and it's by Digitize and MPV. MPV's from Spain. I know this guy. I met him during a summer story, I believe two years ago. Um, so I definitely want to give them a shout out here. Digitize and MPV, "Nothing But Love." Thank you very much, Digitize, for the promo, and I definitely want to want to support this. Very nice. Um, Gabriel is also watching. Thank you so much. So this is definitely something to, to support. So MPP is almost like MVP. Very cool. Nothing but love. And I'm sure this is on Spotify. Pretty sure. Just give me a second. So now it's gonna get a bit more groovy. Gabriel, just in time. Thank you so much for joining. So I gotta be some people there. Oh, this is not on Spotify. Oh, maybe wait. Yeah, it is. Okay. My mistake. The the hyphen is actually as the hyphen. No. Yeah, told you. Very cool. Very catchy. The melody. Very cool track. So tell me what you think about this. Now there's another layer. Hey Gabriel, thank you very much. I'm fine. Told you the track is fire. Very cool. So thank you very much Digitize and MVP for this, nothing but love. Also on Spotify and they released it themselves, so this, that said Digitize, so this is, this is a self-release. This is what's very cool because um, uh, Spotify, I believe a few months ago, opened uh, the, the release uh, of, of singles, basically, to, uh, to, the, to, to the producers themselves. So you, if you have a, an, an account, I believe it's called Spotify for Artists, you can sign up there and upload your music. And maybe you'll get a revenue from it. I believe you do. Um, yeah, uh, do I see you at ADE this year? Yes, I am, I've already booked my hostel and my, <laughs> and my flights and hope to see you there. Yeah, every year, ADE is the best, it's the place to be for us. Especially like the more underground guys like we are. Uh, not full, fully mainstream because fully mainstream, yeah. You have the Amsterdam Music Festival, okay, yeah, but I'm not heading, as always, I'm always telling this every year, I'm not heading to AD for Amsterdam Music Festival, and I met people who went there because of this. Totally uninteresting. Come on, guys. We are celebrating club culture there, not fucking festivals. You have this all summer long in both halls and 
uh, and you know, outdoors the whole summer long uh, festivals. But 80s, for me at least, it's about pop culture. But Gabriel, be quick. Be quick, Gabriel, because there's not much left and it's very expensive. I mean, if you can afford it, but actually, okay, I can afford it, but I don't want to afford it. <laughs> because it's not worth it. Because I have like a very, um, you know, distinguished, you know, um, uh, you know, taste about, you know, what, what's, what is kind of, how much is something worth for me, you know? Both financially and, let's say, morally or, um, you know, physically or um, uh, effort, effortly or, you know, like how much effort I have to put into something. Yeah. But I very much love the guitar. So, thank you very much, Digitize MVP, for nothing but love. Sick tune, sick tune, sick tune, sick tune. And so, what else do I have to play this week? I have some stuff, don't worry. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll play now my favorite track of the week. Um, it was released, I believe, last Friday. And uh, yeah. And it's having a title. Uh, what's the title? The title is Horizon, and it's by Mossiman and Leandro da Silva. This was released on. Uh, on this was released on Protocol, and this one needs to get supported. This is an absolutely fantastic tune. So when I heard the preview first, I was already, you know, I was already, uh, you know, uh, very excited for the release and uh, fully, fully deserved support. So, and I love, you know, mostly I love both producers a lot. So mostly man, I, I heard last year during ADE at Comstars. Uh, from Star's event and uh, Leonard and Silva I know for years already. It was uh, also like uh, made big uh, among others by Sunni and you know he's a very known guy in the scene, very kind and you know, absolutely cool. Yeah. Drum. Ah, so sick. Absolutely fantastic. Na, na, na. And I love I love you know that it's it drops so um, so dark, kind of darkish, and then it slowly builds up. Da, 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 da. Yes, and you're also booking everything for ADE. Nice, nice. Hope to see you finally, because I can't remember that we met last year. Uh, yeah, ADE is absolutely fantastic. Look who's watching, Sabrina. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, and also, by the way, John is watching the whole time. Thank you so much. He just uh, tweet, uh, um, just came on to, on like via Twitter. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm happy that some of you guys tune in. I'm always happy, you know, because uh, uh, I like doing it. You know, it's very cool, also for myself, but it's in a way uh, way funnier when uh, when you know there are some people in. That also enjoy the music that I play. It's like a, it's like a live radio show, kind of. Yeah. So cool. And it's like uh, really, it, the track goes like for four and a half minutes, the extended mix. But I still kind of have this, you know, this uplifting feeling to it, and uh, the progressive feeling as well. So uh, we're really, you know, one element, you know, comes, you know, on the other, on top, and yeah. So that's definitely that. Yeah. Thank you very much for the like. Um, who liked me there? Who liked me? Because I didn't see Eves. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hope that you'll join as well. Yeah. This is Mossy Man and Leandro Silva with Horizon. And um, yeah, I really like the build up. So it really, you know, builds up slowly but surely. Um, this is so funny. But when I say surely, this is like a. Guinea's uh, had a uh, nickname. So yeah, um, I hope to to announce something next week, something very nice. Uh, I guess I don't want to say too much about it, but I hope that I can arrange something um, for next week. Would be very very cool. Um, yeah. That's Mosiman and Leandro da Silva with Horizon. Sick tune. Uh, you know, Protocol is still you know one of the labels that I um, that I enjoy. I mean, I, I know Protocol since its beginning, so 
I believe uh, Nicky Romero just started the label. His first uh, release was um, to, uh, called What the Fuck, together with Zero. And um, and yeah, and this was kind of the first uh, release on the Protocol back in 2012. And now I don't know how many releases they have now. Endless. So I can't really see this now. How much this is? Um, many releases, but way over. I believe 100 or even 200. Oh, I would have to look it up because I'm interested, you know, and stuff like this. So I'm very, I'm a kind of statistics kind of nerd. Yeah. And uh, now I'll play something that was a bit of a discussion uh, on uh, some WhatsApp groups that, I, that I'm in. Uh, the new track by Afrojack. So he released it on his own wall recordings. It is called It Goes Like. And um, we are discussing of how much of a Gnas or Nas copy by Steve Angelo it is. And I let you decide. I love it. Uh, although you can kind of... I don't know, you can kind of kind of hear it a bit, uh, that it sounds a bit like a knast, but I don't, I don't care too much. It still sounds amazing. So, because um, I kind of, I kind of put the Afrojack track on. I was uh, a bit, you know, disappointed sometimes by Afrojack in the past. And then I put this track on, I have exactly zero expectations. And then I hear this drop and think, wow, this sounds so cool. So it goes like this. So it sounds a bit like Nas, it reminds me a bit of it, but I'm saying well. I don't know, it's, uh, I don't care too much about it. The drop is very cool, he has uh, several layers around it. You know, when something is a, it's a very obvious copy, you know, or an obvious rip of an idea, you know, then I would say okay, but in that case, I don't really hear that. So, um, I believe, uh, from what I heard, some, somebody, um, there's a rumor going around uh, that uh, uh, Afrojack asked uh, Steve Angelo, you know, like, before releasing it, if he can release it, if it doesn't sound too much like Knas. But to me, it sounds fantastic. Even even if even if it's a Knas copy, then it's maybe a Knas update, because Knas sounds a bit outdated when it's about the sound design for me. And this one is a bit more, you know approachable for today. I would I would love it if someone places on our main stage this summer. Something like this. Yeah and I have I have two more coming up that I enjoyed very much this week. So that's that. Uh after check it goes live. And up next is the new release on Monster Cat, a very known producer from France, Tony Romero. Um, this is his track, I Can't. Uh, a bit bass house-esque. Update of Knaus. Yeah, that, that, that's what I believe it sounds like, Sabrina, yeah. I hope that people will accept this. Because I love it. I, I heard it. I had zero expectations. And then it sounds amazing, at least in my ears. <laughs> No, you always have to put everything in perspective, you know, it's not like, you know, uh, you know, it's just a knas copy and that's it, you know, sometimes it's, it's you know, it's cool to, to listen closely, uh, a bit closer. Jane joined, thank you so much. The next track is Tony Romero, I Can't. This was released on, um, on, um, on Monster Cat. And it's a bit of a uh, bass house esque, but I don't know I like something about this track. Let's check it out. Yeah, I like very much the the, mel the kind of the melody of these uh, synths here. So it's very unusual sound for me, but. When I listen to this closely, and also like the, the bass is very nice. So for bass house track, there's really a, a bass you can feel, which is very unusual for bass house because usually it's just you know bass is kind of wobbling around and that's it. Yeah. So that's that. So remember, I can. Yeah. 
The vocal is, is fine. The track length is a bit short. I don't know, like, with, uh, the extended mix is like 330. Not a huge fan, as you know. I like, you know, the track to be like a bit more, you know. I know why, why somebody can, can do a five minute space house track. I know what's the problem with that. Just let it drop for longer, you know. Because, um, well, the, the argument probably is that, um, you know, the uh, attention span kind of is, is very short nowadays, especially for the younger generation. Uh, I, I kind of understand this, you know, but, you know, still, I don't know, especially like 10, 15 second drops is, are very weak, in my opinion. Yeah, I have one more uh, guy that is also very known. Uh, I've been a huge fan of him, uh, like around, I don't know, five or six years ago. Well, the time passes by quickly, it's insane. Um, yeah, that's that, Tony Romero, I can't. And now coming up, Dairo with Bombay. And from what I remember, this was released on um, uh, on Martin Yard's label, I believe. Stomp, am I correct? Hope I'm correct. Yeah, I'm correct. It was released on Stomp Records. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a fat playlist. Mm. You'll enjoy this. You'll enjoy this playlist. I'm sure. I, I'm doing kind of my own playlist on the on the phone and you have it in Spotify. Like, perfect deal, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's Styro of Bombay. Actually, a bit weird that he's calls uh, calls it like this because the track, because the city I believe that he's referring to is now called Mumbai for um, for I believe 20 years already. So should like uh, you know step it up if, if he refers to the um, Indian city. It sounds a bit like Martin Garrix or a tone or like Mike Williams. Um, I don't know. He could have been you know a bit more creative with this, but I don't really care too much about. Whether somebody, you know, copies a different producer or not, I just go for the track in general. The track in general is very cool. So let's check it out. Meanwhile, I'll drop it. But yeah, you can hear it actually very much. Mike is also watching, thanks so much for joining. Did you enjoy this one? Dyro with Bombay. I haven't heard Dyro in a long time, but I believe this was also Dyro's signature sound like five years ago, so. So. Yeah. Spiral with Bombay. So that's that. But at least you know the drop is at least 45 seconds long. This is at least something, you know? Not like nothing. At least from that point of view. Yeah, Bertok is also watching, thank you so much. Thanks for the like. Yeah. So that's that. And uh, yeah, check out the breakdown. And then I'll play maybe one or two um, progressive tracks. And then we'll head over to Vichy's album, I would say. Because they're also very nice, really true, real progressive, as we say. Um, it was also very nice this week. There's the build up. So yeah, we can hear a bit of like, of, like Mike Williams or. Yeah, Milo kind of... I don't know what Milo's producer, I'm not sure. But yeah, kind of this Martin Garrix feeling, I don't know. Or like, uh, you know, Mike Williams or like uh, producers like that. Who like to sound like this. But also, maybe, maybe they copied Dyro, very tough to say. And just brought it up to date, so... Yeah. Now the big question is... Um, oh look, who's watching, the TSD. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, hope the deal has some more tunes coming up. Really enjoy your music. And uh, yeah, what's up next? Yeah, the, the question is now which track was the was the one that I enjoyed more? Shit, um, I actually can't remember anymore. Was it Fragments or Visions of You? I believe it was Fragments. I hope. I hope. Yeah, so next track is Real Proc. Hashtag Real Proc. Hashtag Real Proc. Uh, Andretta with uh, Fragments, uh, just give me a second whether this was this track. Yeah, this was this track. Okay, this was this track. So yeah, this is a track that was released on uh, Zero Free, the uh, progressive label by Furu, as we know. And yeah, very enjoyable, 
I love this kind of music, you know. Um, really one and one you know element it puts up uh, you know it builds up on the other and it is also a bit of the pride of feeling you know that i enjoy so i'll drop you the, the radio edit for that because it is a bit more popular whatever the difference is but yeah i mean you like the shoulder tracks but in my opinion you know tracks like these really need to need the time to flourish and yeah i can hear that very well on this one michelle also likes Broadcast. Thank you so much. Andretta with fragments. So, well, I was also watching. Thank you so much. It's just like me, a realness. Uh, um, how to say this? How to say? Nah, anyway, I, never mind. Where's the Andretta guy? I need him. I need to. I need to tag him. Andretta Bros, maybe? I would have to, to check this. Uh, give me a second. If they are really bros, very tough to say. Yeah, but I like the snare. I really have this. A bit of a pride of feeling, like a, like a bit of a weaker one, but I don't care too much. It's very nice. <laughs> Yeah, this should, be, this should be the guys. I believe. A bit older already. These are the guys. Okay. But thank you guys so much for this one. Um, fragments, and they also got the vision of you. Uh, and you know, I'm very thankful for uh, for them to, you know, and also like for Zero Free to release music like this. Beautiful. Do you feel the uh, the pride of vibes? Wonderful. Yeah. They were, they are, um, yeah, they were, yeah, they played around with a bit of the 80 synths and pads they write on Facebook. Uh, and it's, uh, the vibe is meant to be sonically retro with a major throwback to 80 synths and pads. And I believe this. Uh, Eric Pritz does this as well, so he's also, Eric Pritz for example is a huge fan of um, Depe Depeche Mode, which they were very popular in the 80s, uh, yeah, and they wanted to capture ca carefree childhood, oh that's a beautiful text, I love it, I love the, in the intentions of the producer and I'm very happy to, you know, to tell you this, wonderful music, wow, like when, when this melody drops, really feeling it, Really feeling the progressive vibe. Andretta, two brothers uh, or friends, because they say Andretta Bros on um, on Facebook with the track Fragments. Beautiful one, absolutely beautiful. Can't stop listening to this. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. And tone it down. Wow, beautiful. Now really like take taken out a bit, you know. Wonderful music. Yeah, that's that fragments. And then um, what else do I have here? Yeah, I want to play the track by Andre Sopopel. Um, this is also a very nice one. The track is called Saturate. Yeah. So that's that, that's Andretta with Fragments, and um, yeah, Andre Sobota, also I like this guy for a long, long time already, and yeah, definitely also, um, uh, definitely, you know, deserves the support. Sorry, I wanted to, to lean back a bit. Um, yeah, how much time do I have left? Yeah, 40 minutes, so this will have enough time to cover a bit of each's album. Uh, I'll play maybe three or four tracks, not more because I don't really feel it too much, I don't want to dig too much into it. I mean, I want to play it, I want to play something, uh, but I need to, to talk um, a lot over it, I don't want to get flagged. I will probably anyway, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so this one is another great progressive one. Not as good as Fragments in my ears, but yeah. There was released some Colorized. Saturate, uh, so the other track is uh, decent. 
Uh, but Saturate was my favorite one, so that's one I wanted to add this to my playlist. Andre Sobota with Saturate. Very nice progressive one. A bit rougher one, I would say. Not as you know uplifting or happy as um, as uh, the one we had before. But I, I I want you know I want to give this music a platform because uh, there's not much uh, there's n not many actually there's a market for this music, uh, but uh, not a huge one you know and um, I, I you know I, I kind of you know enjoy it next to the maybe a bit more. Um, Groovier or maybe uplifting tracks or whatever, um, but I definitely want you know to give this a platform because it totally deserves it. Um, Tony Romero, I can yeah, this was uh, saturated. So this is actually what I want to, to you know to, um, to, sh to show you like many you know uh, faces of my musical taste because I believe that's the this, this is very interesting to see. So Anthony Sobota from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Let me try to saturate. And I believe, and then we'll play a bit of a Vici at the end. And I believe then we'll call it a day. Um, three or four more tracks. Because I definitely wanted to. Oh yeah, and I, I have one more. So let's uh, let, let, let's play uh, this one that I just got. Um, that I kind of you know. Play what I want to play. This one. Okay. Yeah. But I have one more coming up uh, after that. It is a bit more of an uplifting, happier vibe. But I believe this is a good, good way to, to end this kind of lock and then we'll head over to Pichi. Yeah, Very nice one, Andre Sobotov's Saturate. Very atmospheric. Um, and not much, not much uh, to say about this. It just you know uh, goes very nice from one element onto the other. Really, you know, uh, stands, you know, st uh, stays constantly on one vibe. So we can hear this very well. And the ending is also very simple, but but yeah, it's there, very nice. So it's six and a half minutes, so that's how a track should be nowadays. Uh, still, at least in the extended version, the radio can of course you know cut it together or you know have have it a bit shorter, but yeah. So up next, there's a track called um, yeah. It, it, I I just got you know um, Martin just sent it to me. Thank you so much. Uh, back around, and it's by Master Bank, Elvino, and um, XVNDR3. Very cryptic title. And this will be out on Friday, from my uh, information here. Luke is watching, and Florian as well. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Uh, yeah, what do you think of my glasses, by the way? They are new. I don't look like a nerd anymore, at least according to my, um, to my brother. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is back around, out this Friday. On Glow Records, um, and yeah, I definitely uh, you know enjoy um, enjoy you know supporting this kind of music, and yeah, let's get it on back around with. Uh, yeah, let's let's hear it a bit uh, you know fuller with a bit more vocal. We still got some time left. Very nice vocal. Yeah, vocal is very strong in my in my ears. Sounds very cool. Fits very well to the vibe, of the track. Then the build up. We know from Glow Records, uh, uplifting progressive, uh, kind of like Protocol back in the days, or X Stone, maybe not as much, but that they were kind of their own category. But tell me what you think about this. It's also about your perception. Yeah, the kick, the melody sounds very well mixed. Could have been a bit better master, probably. I'm not sure whether it's a mixing thing, that it doesn't really 100% punch it through, but, you know, very enjoyable still. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a synthy, I don't know, it's very tough to say, but it's a mixing or mastering issue, so... Because, you know, really good mastering can be very expensive, so... 
I mean, you can master yourself, but you probably won't have the results that you can have from a professional studio, a professional guy who can really master it. I'm not sure about these whole uh, services like Lander or anything, you know, that uh, offer like mastering services. But they only work probably with an algorithm, and I'm not sure whether this works phonically very, very good or very well. Very nice, very warm bass. Yeah, so in general, you know, above average. Very nice melody. So uh, I, c I can I could imagine it to you know be released on on protocol or labels like these. So or hexagon, maybe hexagon maybe a bit too melodic, but uh, but still you know one of the larger labels or even spinning spinning talent pool or something like this. So there it fits very well. So thank you very much, Martin, for sending this. Mustbank, Elvino, and XVND are free with Back Around out this Friday on Glow Records. Thank you so much. And now we're heading over to Avicii's album. So uh, it's out, it was out, I believe, this Friday or Tuesday, like the, the, the previous one. And um, what to say? Um, hmm. Uh, very tough to say uh, what, what I think about this. Um... Yeah, it is, of course, not the Avicii that I fell in love with. Let's put it this way. There are some tracks that I like. Um, I only, uh, One of my favorite ones are already the first two ones. And the second single that I heard on the radio today, by the way, uh, like on commercial radio, because we have like a commercial radio standing around, like playing around in at work. And uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, the other ones are okay. Um... There are some, yeah, well, um, very interesting is the Heart Upon My Sleeve version with Imagine Dragons, but I believe my favorite one is already the intro, like the peace of mind that really is very nice, you know, has a cool flow of the melody, the synthy fits very well. Um, so yeah, peace of mind featuring Vargas and Lagola, and I need to talk over it and put it a bit, um, a bit, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, like quieter because I don't want to get um, flagged too much. And I like, especially what I like very much about it is, is this vocal that we hear in the background. So Vargas and Lagola, I, I heard the guys, you know, those are uh, Vincent Botare and um, and Salim Al Fakir. So they also been together, like uh, produced stuff together with um, uh, with Excellent Grosso, for example, already. Um, and yeah, and I like this the flow of the vocalist. Do you wanna be free? Do you wanna be free? Do you wanna be free? And this is kind of my favorite. Yeah, and now actually the the small guitars there in between. And I think when this drops, this sounds very cool in my in my ears. So yeah, um, I need to put this of course on on Spotify. Um, Peace of mind by Avicii. Of course, uh, when it's about all these tracks from Avicii's album, it's always very tough to say. Um, because um, the problem is that we don't know how much Avicii is in it. So we know from SOS that this is that it's the original melody, but you know the original mix and uh, arrangement, you know, it's very tough to say. So um, yeah, this is a bit um, a bit tough to say. But um, I hope nonetheless that um, some of you enjoyed some of the tracks, maybe not all of them, but uh, yeah. But I hope that. Um, there's some on it featuring Vargas and Lagola. Do you wanna be free? Do you wanna be free? Do you wanna be free? Do you wanna be? Wanna be? Do you wanna let go? Do you wanna? And I like you know how often this vocal flows, you know, so quickly and everything. Very nice. So this track, peace of mind. Um, very nice guys. By the way, it seems like either. Um, that they have a very um, nicely built uh, social media team, but they, uh, you know, replied to my stories when I was in um, in in Stockholm because I, I recorded some stories when they were on stage, and you know, I was surprised that uh, you know that they that they uh, you know uh, replied to me and said, "Wow, cool, thank you very much that you that you made the story and whatever." So yeah, um, so either it was themselves or the social media team. So yeah, um, very interesting. 
Uh, I want to play a bit of Heaven, maybe one drop. Um, this is the track together with Chris Martin, although there is he's not credited on the on the track. Heaven is a track that I knew already. It was leaked like around a year ago, um, and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, you know when I heard it for the first time, it was very emotional because I knew Tim is not here anymore, and I hear kind of I believe a track that he really I believe finished producing. So this is I believe one of the few tracks, or maybe the only one. I'm not sure where I believe we can say that this was uh, you know finished. So he, he actually kind of, um, this really sounds a bit like, like probably the most like of each of the other tracks. I'm not sure, you know. Maybe Peace of Mind also a bit, but not as much. Uh, very tough to say. So that's uh, Avicii with Heaven. Featuring, actually, not featuring Chris Martin, but he's on the on the vocals. And every time I hear Heaven, I believe I covered this already in the, in the past, in one of my previous busy casts, uh, when it leaked for the first time, that... Um, what to say? Uh, that um, that when when I listen to this track, I I kind of have every his every tube up as is a waterfall bootleg like in my in the back of my head, uh, head because um, I I kind of feel you know these these vibes you know when we when you compare this uh, maybe I can compare this uh, this is not on Spotify because it was bootleg. I believe back then he released it on Living Electro or something like one of the blogs back then. <laughs> this was very interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, every time I hear this, uh, because I hear sometimes the, the sometimes the the, um, the album, still, um, and when you compare this with to uh, this wonderful vocal that he actually made with this uh, track, oh my goodness, I'm I'm, go I'm gonna cry probably when I hear this um, here and in, in, in this part. Are you complicated to to tell me it's alright? And I kind of, you know, and he, he kind of, he did a fantastic, uh, very um, landscape-esque kind of, I don't know, sound uh, design-esque, you know, um, uh, under, you know, like like the, the the melody that he plays, you know, and the synthy supports beautifully the vocals. So the vocal is really in the front, you know, that you really kind of uh, sing around with the vocal, and then of course the drop, uh, it's so emotional. So this is every time I hear Heaven, I kind of think about his every tear of the waterfall, Bootleg. Like, back from, I believe, 2011, because he played this on his um, Tomorrowland um, kick. Um, I believe to, uh, Avicii's Tomorrowland show, uh, Tomorrowland set from 2011 is the, is the set that I heard uh, the most often. Um, because also, you know, back then I didn't have as many MP3s as I have now. And, you know, it was kind of the only way to listen to rips. Like, I heard, I don't know, Sunshine before it got released. Um, or was it after? I can't, can't remember anymore. Like, it was it was way tough, I don't know, to access that back then. I don't know, for me, because I didn't I didn't know where, where to access it from, you know. Uh, and then, yeah. Um, uh, and then, yeah, well, um, yeah, uh, what, what I wanted to say. Um, yeah, and, and probably, yeah, yeah, in second place, probably Krydos uh, Essential Mix from 2014. I heard this so many times, so many great edits still on it that weren't released. Uh, but yeah, and that's a different story. So another favorite track of mine on the album, uh, Tim, is called Tough Love. This was already played on, uh, this was the second single. And I like this um, uh, oriental theme of the of the song. With these, uh, with the um, kind of oriental guitar or tita, whatever, whatever that is. Um, uh, whatever the instrument is, but when when it drops, I kind of kind of imagine like how they how in, how they kind of have these oriental dances there, walking around, like doing around. So yeah, this is absolutely um, absolutely cool. So maybe one more track uh, is um, "Hold the Line" featuring Arizona. Uh, I need to I need to drop this. I know, but I actually I don't feel like it. <laughs> Uh, but I will uh, I'll drop all the links um, because actually you know I get um, I get flagged because um, I believe um, uh, I wish the label is very strict with playing all that. But hold the line is um, it has a very uh, well um, surprising drop I would say. Um, and when we kind of turn it down a bit, I hope that I don't get recognized too too much. Um, because that's kind of a, it's it's not really so many of these tracks, especially he's having a lot of tracks featuring uh, Joey Janiak, 
Uh, they're very down tempo, and the Aruto line is also not an exception. So the only one that are a bit faster are Peace of Me, uh, Peace, uh, Peace of Mind, Heaven, uh, and um, Top Love is also a bit slower, but not as slow. Yeah, but you can hear like the drop in the background is a bit uh, different from the whole track. So I need to add this all to the playlist. So Heaven, Top Love, I play my, my favorite tracks into the Beatcast playlist. And uh, Top Love and um, Hold the Line. And then um, uh, and then I can't remember actually what was... Um, yeah, Excuse Me Mr. Sir is also very interesting from the arrangement and and all that. This is also featuring Vargas and Flagola. Um, but it's a bit slower as I've already mentioned, so I'll add this as well. Yeah, I'm a roller coaster. Then the drop actually, yeah, the drop is a bit like a different one, but yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm not as strict, you know, on this album. I mean, the, the Avicii 01 EP was very similar, but back then I was a bit, you know, disappointed that he produced music like that. Now, I don't care too much about it. Maybe because he's gone, you know, it's very tough to say, you know, it's very tough to listen to something, you know, a producer um, that is gone, you know, and, uh, and you know, really, like, have a really own opinion about it. Yeah, Marshmallow, not as much Marshmallow. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's very tough to say if this is good to, to release unfinished tracks. Maybe they want to, you know, uh, Gabriel... Um, um, well, you know, make make a bit money out of it. I mean, it goes. It, I'm not sure whether it really goes to 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 charity all that. Um, yeah, uh, well, I'm not sure about never never leave. Yeah, I, I play hard upon my sleeve because uh, the vocal is very interesting because it's different. So the track was already released back in 2013. Um, I believe on his album True, and uh, yeah. And it's very interesting that um, I, I, I believe I know the backstory of this um, because um, back then when True was released, Ash Prunori was still the executive producer of Avicii and like manager or whatever, and he was kind of the executive producer of every track. And um, wow, this is a very bad moment. Uh, okay, never mind. Um, and what I wanted to say is that. Um, that Ash didn't like any features to be on the album, so everything um, says, you know, uh, Wake Me Up, for example, was Avicii dash Wake Me Up, and not Avicii featuring Aloy Black, or something like this. And uh, some uh, like bands that he wanted to collaborate with didn't agree on not being credited on as, as an artist on the, on the track. And I believe Imagine Dragons were one of these, and that's why they decided to release the version with uh, Imagine Dragons now as well, now that Ash is not there anymore. And to be honest, he'll probably burn in hell. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wish it, you know, but like, I kinda, I, I, I kinda have the feeling that he is kinda one of the, uh, one of the reasons, you know, that, um, that, you know, that it happened how it happened. So, you know, I'll drop the list to the whole album and you just listen through it. And I don't want to actually, you know, uh, you know, post now every track in the uh, in the comments. So yeah, t tell me what you think about this because it's very interesting. Um, I had just got the feelings from John. Every tear of the waterfall blue, like yeah, absolutely, fantastic track. Um, so yeah, and, and you check it out for yourselves. Avicii Tim, his last album. Actually, it's not an album. It's like. Um, I would say it's not an album, it's, it's, a, it's a compilation, I would say, of uh, tracks that he wanted to, to do, to finish. Um, and yeah, and the last track is um, Fades Away. And I guess this is also the last track that I'm gonna, uh, you know, analyze a bit. Because I didn't feel too much the Joe Janney tracks, I don't know. Um, but uh, listen for yourselves, because I didn't want to kind of, um, uh, to kind of, you know, um, uh, to play a bit, uh, you know, to, to, to play the whole album because I don't really feel it and all that. Thank you very much for watching over on Insta. I'm gonna finish here and the last track that has a bit of a surprising drop is um, the last track of the album. Um, the last track of the album is uh, Fades Away, but the drop is very short, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, 
I dropped the link. Uh, it's unfortunately I saw it too late. Well, because I, I, I had a bit of a, a bit of a problem because uh, I wanted actually to post uh, a on, on on Instagram that I'm going live in an hour and it didn't post and I don't know why I had internet and all that and just it didn't post. Well, and now out of uh, because I realized it just before I went live on on Instagram on my phone <coughs> and and then it said oh well it didn't post and then out of one hour it went kind of one minute <laughs> and I was live already. Yeah, because Crida uh, Criteria is coming up in um, 18 minutes, and I, I, I just wanted to do a pizza cast this week because I felt like I had, I had enough material and I filled very nicely an hour, and this is very cool. So, Nui Bao, I believe, uh, sings on I Could Be the One, so, sounding very popular, and also on some previous Avicii releases. And if you like, the strings are very interesting to sound like to to hear. Yeah, but the drop is like 15 seconds. Like this is it was so weak, you know. It could have been more. Yeah. Uh, so that's um, the busy cast. Let's um, finish with the last drop of Never uh, Like It Fades Away by Avicii, the last track on his album. As I've mentioned, some like Peace of Mind is is my favorite one. Heaven, well, yeah, I cried a bit, like inside. Uh, Tough Love sounds also very interesting, um, but you know, not an album that I love, you know. I can listen to it a few times, it's better than some of the other stuff that I hear from albums. But, you know, um, uh, very interesting are the reviews of the uh, mainstream media, for example, uh, Austria, Austrian media uh, wrote, for example, that it's, uh, you, know, um, uh, you know, very, um, how to say this, um, you know, uh, I don't know, sad lyrics on happy beats. So it sounds a bit like it, but not all of them. Um, but well, uh, yeah. Some tracks are very cool to listen to a few times, but you know, missing the extended mixes, of course, but that's, you know, that's not the, that's not the point, you know, in all this <clears throat> Avicii Tim album thing. So I really hope that everything goes to charity. This would be very cool. Uh, I, I missed him. I can't understand, you know, how somebody can do this to to himself, you know? Because there is, um, I believe there's a, a solution for everything, although as hard it, as hard as it is, um, I'm just you know very surprised that he did this because uh, it must have you know the, this this constant touring for years and years, so it must have been I don't know five years that he was touring, uh, nonstop basically and next to it producing for album and everything. That, that it really, you know, did something, you know, uh, ir irreparable, you know, something that you cannot repair anymore. And this is, you know, what surprised me so much, because otherwise, you know, uh, he would have, he would have not, you know, done this to himself, you know, if he wasn't very desperate. Uh, or it was really, uh, like, effective, you know, like, uh, like it wasn't uh, something that he did in, in, in effect, you know. Uh, so something, you know, it was a quick decision, and then he did it, and he was not there anymore. Um... Which you know, which is very very surprising. So he must have been emotionally very unstable in that in in that case, because otherwise this is not uh, explainable. Like I loved him so much, I loved his music for years, and uh, he was you know he you know he was meant to be in the studio. You know, he was very uh, you know introvert, and he was meant to be in the studio and not and not on the stages. You know, and this was this was a huge mistake. I believe that many people did, uh, including probably himself, including Ash, and many other people probably. Uh, in the background, you know, he was a star and he didn't really want it. it you know, like at least the peers, to him. at least not 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 the star in the in the, in the uh, you know in the spotlight. And you know that's why you know also Hardwell said, well that's it for me with touring and now I'll only, only be in the studio. Yeah, I tell me what you think about this. Also on YouTube, I'm gonna also upload this to YouTube. And yeah, uh, in 14 minutes uh, there's criteria coming up. Um, with another sick episode, according to Olindo, but I believe Olindo says um, this about every episode. So let's head over there in a few minutes. Thank you very much for uh, for listening. I love the episode. I hope that more people will join afterwards. So tell me what you think of all the tracks you heard. And yeah, uh, I hope to see you on the next busy cast. Hopefully next week, and hopefully with a very nice announcement. Hopefully, I cannot say much. It's not one hundred percent sure yet, but I hope it will be nice. And yeah, uh, have a great uh, remaining week. Have a great weekend later then. And yeah, hope to see you next week. See you then, and bye.